Today, we will be walking through the first year guarantee residence application. By filling out this application and submitting your $500 non-refundable housing deposit, you are guaranteeing yourself a place to live on campus for the upcoming fall term. Before you begin, be sure to learn more about campus housing and the University College residences, which are located at St. Jerome's University College, Renison University College, and United College. You will also be indicating whether you would like to be included in a living learning community. Learn more about living learning communities by clicking the links on your welcome homepage. It is important to note that you must accept your offer of admission to the University of Waterloo and enroll in duo and two-factor authentication before you complete this application. Also, you will need to make a $500 non-refundable housing deposit in addition to submitting the application to secure your place in residence. The application has six simple steps and you can navigate back to a previous step throughout the application. Please note the information in your application isn't finalized until June 1st at 11.59pm Eastern Daylight Time. You can log back into your welcome homepage and click the Edit Application button to adjust your selections any time before the June 1st deadline. The one part of the application you will not be able to change or edit is the payment method, so keep that in mind when you get to that step. Let's get started. Please log in using your name and University of Waterloo student ID number and the application will open to our welcome homepage. For step one, you will rank the four residence communities based on where you prefer to live. These will be Campus Housing, St. Jerome's, Renison University College, and United College. Begin by clicking the green plus sign and select your preferred university residence community. You will follow the same step for the next three university residence communities by clicking the green plus sign to add your second, third, and fourth preferences. You cannot select the same community more than once. If you already know that you would like to be part of a specific living learning community, rank that university residence community as your top preference. Click the next step button once you are ready to move on to step two. Step two will have you confirm if you would like to join a living learning community within the residence community that you ranked as your first preference. It is important to note that some living learning communities are located in predetermined residences. If you are selected to live in a living learning community in your preferred residence community, you will be assigned to where that living learning community is housed. For example, if you choose to join the Faculty of Environment community based at United College, you will be assigned to United College. Depending on demand, we cannot guarantee you will be placed in your first choice even if you choose to live in a living learning community. Step 3 is to confirm your reported gender. We respect and appreciate diversity when assigning rooms and want to ensure you are comfortable where you are eventually assigned. The gender you see on your Waterloo application is the gender that you indicated on your Ontario University's application, OUAC. You will be asked to verify the gender reported. If your reported gender is correct, please proceed to the next step. If your reported gender is not correct, please review the next steps listed in the application. We ask that you continue with the application after reviewing even if your reported gender is incorrect as it would take time for the change to be made and we want you to meet the June 1st deadline. Any changes requested to the Registrar's Office will automatically be updated with Campus Housing once they make the change in Quest. The Accessible Housing process is designed for students who have, or suspect they may have, a disability for which they would like to request accommodations in residence. Accessible Housing supports can be made for medical, sensory, physical, environmental, psychological, allergy or dietary restrictions, or mental health conditions. You will need to have a registered healthcare provider complete the accessible housing application and upload it to our accessible housing website for review. Please upload your accessible housing application on or before June 1st. If you require any other accommodations, for example, academic accommodations, during your time here at the University of Waterloo, please visit uwaterloo.ca-services directly for next steps. In step 5, please review the deposit refund policy information. You must accept these terms to move on to step 6. 
before step six, a summary of your application will appear. This summary allows you to view all of your choices, not only on the screen, but also permits you to download, email, or print the summary so you have a copy to reference. We encourage you to take advantage of keeping a copy of the summary in case you have questions about your preferences or information shared on the application. Click the next step button at the bottom of the page to move on to step six, where you will pay your deposit. Step six is where you pay your $500 non-refundable housing deposit to guarantee your place in residence. Money orders and certified checks are acceptable, though we recommend you use a credit card to ensure your non-refundable deposit is received before the deadline. Visa, MasterCard, and American Express are accepted. Please note that personal checks, email bank transfers, wire transfers, and interact online are not accepted for your housing deposit. If you choose to pay with a credit card, click the Pay Online button and fill out your payment information. If your credit card payment is successful, you will receive a successful payment confirmation email. If you choose to pay by certified check or money order, information on how to send the non-refundable housing deposit will appear, including the address and deadline. When we receive and process your certified check or money order, you will also receive a successful payment email. This is one part of the application that you will not be able to edit later, so please choose carefully. Once you have decided on either promising payment through certified check or money order or paying right away through a credit card, press the finish button at the bottom of the page and your application will successfully submit and you will receive a confirmation email. You are not considered part of the guarantee until we have successfully received your application and $500 non-refundable housing deposit by the June 1st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time deadline. You can always log back into your welcome homepage and make any changes you would like to your first year guarantee residence application before the June 1st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time deadline by using the Edit Your Application button. When you edit the application, you will have the option of downloading, emailing, or printing a new summary each time. That's it. You are now 100% guaranteed to have a place in residence this fall. We can't wait to welcome you home.